Hey there, this is Yoshi. Uh, this is a Spider Farmer SF600 LED grow light uh, update series. This is my uh, final series. Uh, actually, it was supposed to be last video, but I counted things wrong. <laughs> so this is uh, one extra video. Uh, so technically, I am not paid for that. <laughs> um, anyhow, today I want to well, that's what I wanted to talk about from uh, the final video, but I didn't. Uh, so this is totally voluntarily number 17. Uh, but I want to talk about pros and cons after I used this light uh, four month, I think. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, video number 17. So it's a uh, 17th week. Um, that means you know pretty much for a month right um, so uh, let's talk about cons first uh, number one it didn't quite fit on my regular shelf uh, what is this I forgot the uh, size of this but this is like a normal wire shelving like a cheaper kind that you can find at the you know, Target or Lowe's or whatever, right? Uh, so it doesn't fit, it goes over. Um, luckily, I made it work so that it goes over. That way those guys can get the light. And then I put, that's why I put those uh, um, ridiculous labias, which supposed to take uh, almost direct sunlight, right? So, uh, that was that I uh, I was fine with it so it's not really really con but it is maybe if you're looking for the light which fits on this kind of a shelf con number two would be uh, there's no on or off switch so yeah there's nowhere to be found so I have to if if you only have a plug you have to physically unplug it to turn it off. Um, maybe some of you might find it um, kind of uh, uh, offsetting because uh, you know you have to unplug it off and on each day. Yeah, I I don't know how how it works. In my case, I have all those lights goes under to uh, all the way down below and I make a one switch system. So I have other lights going on around here, uh, but if I turn off the one um, big, it's for actually music, uh, music instruments, you know, like Monster Company. If you, you probably don't know that if you don't know, uh, uh, guitars and basses, uh, they use, they make a wonderful cable, like a durable, uh, durable uh, equipment for guitars and bass. Uh, that's what I use. Uh, and I turn off the switch and on. Uh, somebody suggested, <laughs> of course it's Michael, but su uh, suggested that uh, turn off with a uh, uh, smart device. Um, I didn't have that at that point. It's a good idea, you know. I just didn't do it. So in near future, it might be uh, set up uh, part of a setup and just uh, the timer. I might set a timer goes off and on. But at this point, that's my setup. So I didn't really need the switch. I plugged in as a part of those system. So all those lights here will turn off with one switch um, so that was the con uh, number two uh, con number three uh, there's no intensity control so uh, you will get what it provides right so the only way to control the intensity would be the distance in between so uh, that's why I have these guys higher spot, a little bit higher, so it's closer. And then this uh, Dendrovia Mantenatum uh, also have a uh, very, very close. 
Uh, luckily, they take a lot of light, so this is perfect spot there. Uh, and of course, those uh, Lelia Paparadas and stuff, those are good for that. Um, but what if you have a, uh, you know, uh, not really, uh, what do you call it, height? If you don't have too much light, uh, height, and then the uh, low light plants, that needs light. Um, you cannot you cannot use that because it's too intense for you know like let's say Miltoniopsis or whatever I mean I don't know I, I didn't really try the lower lighting required plant but that's what I think you just can't control the intense intensity of the light whereas uh, I have one light uh, Coco Lila light from a uh, uh, grow star LED company uh, you can squeeze it there's a little knob and you can change the intensity um, you know that's why I put it here so that there's a height so I mean I didn't have much choices but see this is how much it's you know uh, far away from let's say Cattleya violacea so <clears throat> Yeah, I just uh, wish that little bit in me that I could change the uh, uh, intensity. Um, I don't really need to. I made it work, so it's okay. But uh, yeah, that was it. Now, the, the pro, yeah, that's all the cons I could think of. Um, but uh, anyhow, the pro, let's talk about pro. It definitely works that's the biggest pro um, I've been watching so many youtubers with uh, grow light even um, cheapest grow light you can find from uh, you know regular t6 or t5 or whatever in a regular old-timer um, uh, what do you call it? fluorescent light or something that you can find at Walmart or whatever uh, those even work you know what I mean um, and I didn't really use that to full capacity and this is like a, a first time ever to use named brand uh, named brand grow light and uh, the, the result is right here Antenatum is doing fine here. Um, my antenna that I'm in greenhouse is, <coughs> that's all I have to say. Uh, it spiked, but then it didn't survive. Uh, it's probably the temperature or whatever. I don't know. I've been struggling with the uh, uh, antler types. And uh, here it is, it's doing really fine here. Um, I even tried to grow them here too and it still didn't spike before. And uh, um, I was, uh, I've been on the chat in long term, meaning I chat about it, but not like intensely here and there. We talk about it uh, with uh, Michael McCarthy uh, because I love this plant. I love the flower. Uh, I'm not too into dendrobiums, but Antenatum, I really love it. Uh, the, the bloom is really cute, beautiful, uh, with the antler style, of course. And it's it's like a semi-alva kind of looking. Uh, it's just, you know, I, lo I love those kind of color and the shape and the fragrance. But uh, dendrobiums, especially those guys, don't usually love me back. So... Um, this is a big success for me. <laughs> this is like the best uh, result I can show you right here with the spike right here. And it's not blasting either. And the plant is doing well. That is good enough for me <laughs> to show you this light is like the best so far I've ever used. So yeah, and then those bandas are uh, seedlings are doing fine. Uh, the Vandas, even Vandas don't require stronger, stronger light like usually uh, Vandas requires. Uh, at, the, at this point, this is a good enough light. Um, 
So this is good. Um, all those roots are growing, you know, ex ex except for those equigenerates, but those are kind of expected. But then uh, my uh, one of the wish list plant, the Amesista grossa, I got it last year. Uh, this one is rooting, so uh, I hope it's gonna keep going and uh, shoot out the very healthy new growth is what I'm hoping. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, lots of, uh, see this is another dendrobium. I've never seen a bloom yet and it was dying as you can see. So I was hoping I could uh, get it back to the health and that's why it, was, it is here as a part of the series and uh, it looks like it's coming back, right? So the light it definitely works. Um, I just, uh, one thing would be, you know, if I could see a bloom from a Rubiculus Lelia, that would be the thing. But I don't know the season for those cattleyas. Uh, if you know, let me know. It'll leave me a comment uh, if it has a season or something like that. But uh, yeah, um, anyways, pros and cons, uh, it definitely works. Uh, that's all I have to say. Uh, I am uh, very grateful to uh, uh, the spider farmers giving me this opportunity to do this video. Um, you know, uh, who knows, uh, I might uh, get uh, some of the uh, cattleyas that I never uh, had a blooms might bloom for me. So, or the dendrobiums, you know, like those. Uh, this is for sale, so <laughs> if somebody buys it before I see it, then it's too bad. But, you know, it looks like it's going, so hope, you know, maybe it could be sold after it blooms. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I shouldn't say that as an orchid seller, right? <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, that is it. Uh, this is the final video, number 17. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully this helped. Uh, what kind of a, a grow light you want to choose so and that is it thank you for watching bye